Hokey dokey. In this problem, they give us a graph for the volume and a separate graph for the surface area. And then they're asking which of the following graphs here best represents the ratio of surface area to volume SA over V. So SA divided by V, essentially. So the way I like to go about this is pick a time value, either uh, three or four. We want to pick a higher time value. So really, Going with time 4 is probably a good go-to. So in other words, at t equals 4, we are going to calculate the ratio surface area over volume in which or for which we need the surface area value at time 4. So if we go up on the surface area graph and we get that, that's approximately a y value or a surface area value of 4. And then we'll repeat the same process on the volume graph so you can usually just use the highest y value or I guess you know the one that lines up with time 4 for both of them so I'll say it's 4 over a uh, volume value of 40 so if we reduce this we get 1 tenth it's basically a small decimal 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 is the surface area to volume ratio at time four. What does that mean? On whatever the correct graph is down here, at time four, we should have a value, basically a y value of 0 0.01, or sorry, 0 0.1. So we look at four on each of these graphs, and we, we, we're looking for the y value of 0 0.1. So on this first graph, the y value is close to negative 40. So that can't be it. On graph 2, we look at 4, and the y value is close to 40, so that can't be right. We look at graph 3. At 4, the y value is very small, and it could make sense that it's 0 0.1, so that's a good maybe so far. And then let's check number 4 just to make sure. Graph number 4 at time 4 has a y value of about 10, so that can't be 0 0.1, so it looks like... 3 is our best answer, so we break out the eraser, and we see that 3 is our answer, C is our answer.